Welcome back. It's been some time and uh, it's been very busy and hectic. I've been in Denmark a few times. I've also been to Budapest. Who knows why? You'll maybe see that in a future video. And then also now today we're going to Serbia to Sabatka for my first ever concert in Serbia. You know, it turned out the first video we did late last year. It was right. We got a gig. We actually got multiple. Let's drive. It's like 50 kilometers. You know, driving in Hungary is really not that difficult. I mean, it's um, it's not not so different from Denmark. Also, the rules are pretty different, uh, the same actually, and uh, therefore it's not that difficult. I was very worried that it was going to be very difficult to drive here, but it turned out that it's all right. And I mean, a lot of people asked me, now that I bought a car, how is the roads in Hungary? And I think it really depends on where in the country you are, because I heard East Hungary has worse roads than here in South Hungary. Of course, we're gonna drive through some bad roads, but I think overall it's pretty decent. So, I mean, it's not like you see on television that it's, well, some, some places it's like totally smashed, but most places it's okay road. Now we are like one kilometer from the um, Serbian-Hungarian border, meaning we have to put the camera away, I guess. So um, we will just start filming again once we crossed it. And I think, you know, that border is very famous, if you remember 2015. Anyhow, there's also a little Emlik park, a um, yeah, little park you can walk in if you want to look at that beside the border. And so this is uh, Serbia. Welcome to Serbia. It's uh, it's not really that it's changing so much when you drive in. I don't think there's any countries that changes a lot when you just pass the border. But we're here. Take a look. Now we're here in uh, Serbia, Sabatka, and uh, and uh, it was pretty funny because we had to go through a fast food uh, restaurant to get this key. And you can smoke in there. Voila, dobra dan. Come inside, you can smoke inside, which is the biggest difference from all around the world. Anyway, this is our small uh, room. This is what you get for 20 euros in Serbia, in Sabatka, in one big city. I mean, in a way you can smell that somebody has been smoking here, but it's not so, it's not so bad. And uh, you have a beautiful view also. And private parking also looks great. And if you look, nice beds and um, a small toilet and a bed. So I mean, it's it's what you need for 20 euros in Serbia. This is what we're gonna need for tonight. It's uh, it's not much. It's a guitar, it's a microphone, and it's a stand and a speaker. So I mean, here doing a lightweight show tonight. And we can also park our car in there, which is great. Because then we won't have to use that stupid <laughs> ticketing system which they have. I'm really hungry, I think we should get some food now, because soon we will also have to do the show, and we also have to, like, see Sabatka. This is my favorite street in uh, Subotica. Come check it out. This street is filled with restaurants, and bars, and very cool looking pubs. Um, it's really a hidden gem, I think, here in uh, North Serbia. Shopping opportunities, Idea is the place to go. That's like the, uh, not Tesco, but it's more like the uh, Aldi of Serbia. One of the great aspects of uh, Serbia not being in the EU is that it's allowed to copy everything you want. Well, I don't think it's allowed, but they do it everywhere, and you really can't do that in the EU. So we found some uh, fake Pokemon card, some fake. Yu-Gi-Oh card, 
and for once some um, what's it called? We found some Squid Games Legos. I don't think we can bring him in, but let's check it. Check him out. So this is um, half a euro. <laughs> it sounds crazy, and it has the Pokemon Company and everything. Find of no return. When you open this, you won't get your money back. I don't think you would either. Let's see. I was a huge Pokemon fan. Okay, let's see. You can definitely see that the colors are wrong. They're off. You're getting more cards than usual. So let's see. <laughs> okay, these doesn't really look like Pokemon cards, do they? Hunchcrow, Umbreon, Arceus. We got Arceus. Oh my god. Nangandel, Reku. We only got rare cards here. Two Arceus. And I guess it's the same thing with the Yu-Gi-Oh. They look like a normal Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Yu-Gi-Oh's aren't that popular anymore. I didn't think they were still making them. Wow, you clear <laughs> these sharp, 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 sharp corners. Oh, the light Diadolus, Electric Dragon, Saint Dragon, Nine Saint Dragon, and here we got Saint Dragon, Third Dragon. You know, we're getting good cards here, and I think that's why you should buy them in Serbia instead of in Europe. <laughs> and of course, the Squid Games Lego, which is not a thing. We got the big fat angry guy, I think it is. I don't know. We shouldn't open it now, but I can just take a look inside. I mean, take a look. It's it's nothing special. And we didn't even get all the bricks that they promised. So I mean This is a mad, 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 mad thing. But it's I like it. I like it. It's so fucked up that it's nice. Talking about fakes, it's not the real ABBA, but it's a real tribute. And I don't think you can take that away from the Serbians. They have the real ABBA here. We have to try some uh, Serbian ice cream, macho, zucolada. This is a one euro Serbian ice cream. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very different. It's like a um, chocolate dough, some kind of thing. It's, it's not so ice creamy. It's pretty good. Macho. Subotica has everything. They have a theater, they have cinemas, they have like a good shopping life, restaurants, everything. It's like you could live here, it's like Seged. That's a rare thing having a Sastavia Scala, a old Yugoslavian car. It's wow. It's also nice that you have these beautiful, beautiful promenades. And uh, a story is that these tiles, the yellow tiles, they used to be all over Subotica, just like, I don't remember, a long time ago. And um, it was not a good thing because when it rained they got very slippery. And uh, the tiles were very, like, it was the face or the symbol of Subotica. Um, but they have to, like, remove 80% of them or something. So people wouldn't fall or the cars wouldn't slide every time. So it's pretty funny. Now we have half an hour to spend and then we have to uh, have some food, I think. So hopefully tomorrow we can go around and see the full city of Sabatka, Subotica. But, but let's see, right now we just have to get some food first. And here in uh, Serbia they have a lot of great restaurants, mostly also in Sabatka, but also in Serbia. And um, we have to try this one called uh, Bus. And I um, wonder if it's Hugo Bus. Anyway, the prices are good compared to Hungary. They're a bit cheaper, like I would say 10% here in North Serbia. Apparently, uh, Serbia also makes some good wine, I heard. I haven't ever tried Serbian wine, so that will also be a first. Um, so we ordered some wine and now we have to try it. 
It's also noticeable they have a tea menu, so it's great. Pura chai vei chajevi. I can't speak Serbian yet. So the bus who owns bus, he has a winery just outside the uh, Subotica in Palic, where we're going another time. And uh, this is my first time ever to try Serbian wine. Let's try. It. Not bad. You know, that's the thing, the world makes good wine and it's all about how it's made, not where it's from. Okay, so I ordered a mushroom pizza. I know it's not Serbian at all, but um, tomorrow you'll have some Serbian food of some kind, but now we have a pizza. And you, you know, they put tomato sauce in a little um, can like this, so you can pour it over. It looks very delicious. Yeah, I work with Italians and I know you should never eat a pizza like this, but this is very spongy. It's okay. It's pretty, pretty solid. That's a pretty good meal. Uh, now we are going back to the hotel thing. It's not a hotel, it's more like an Airbnb. And then we'll just relax the next half hour. I am very excited. I'm always a bit nervous when it's my first time in a new country. So, we'll see. Now we're in Serbia and we have to try Jelen beer. Uh, Pivo is in Serbian. It's one of their um, most famous beer. And then Lav, they have two famous. It looks good. It has a pretty um, mild looking texture. Let's try it. A bit bitter, more bitter than usual. It's alright. I like the yellow. It's good. So that went pretty darn well. I wouldn't swear, but it was very good. People were happy. I met like 10 new, very nice people I had a talk with. And uh, you know, I think this Serbian adventure is only about to begin. The streets are very beautiful. If you look around, it's amazing. I love Subotica in Serbia also. It's amazing.
So it didn't really end there. We are going out now to uh, explore more of this wonderful place. But we have a few hours, I think, before we have to head to the border, which closes at some time soon. Here we are at the main square of Subotica. You have a beautiful fountain and you have the uh, municipality house. You have everything here, it's beautiful. Subotica used to be a part of Seged, it used to be Ottoman, it used to be a lot actually. And uh, it's very similar to Hungary because you have here a uh, Narodno Kosaliste. A uh, theater, a uh, people's theater, and in Hungarian it's also written Nevsinhas. So it's it's pretty funny that most of these places also have Hungarian names. Uh, a little side note here: we have to get some breakfast, and uh, I mean, for this is what you get for around a half euro, and also this a mini calzone for half a euro. And also this, which we don't know what is, it's uh, some cheesy thing, for also half a euro. And the coffee for like quarter euro. <laughs> so this is um, some kind of a pizza snack, pizza snack. Pretty good. One of the great aspects of also Subotica is that uh, it's so lush and green, so it's very natural to go around here. And you know, with these heat temperatures, like 38 degrees, it's really important that you have a lot of trees and uh, bushes everywhere to, to keep the heat down. You know, yesterday we had this amazing experience before I had to play. You now I was sitting talking with the owner of the place, Igor, his name was. And uh, suddenly, like four of his friends came and it was like on these benches. And they came and sat down there and it was just so wonderful to see how all the Slavs, Slavs, they were just sitting everywhere drinking beer and talking and socializing. And we could use that a bit more in uh, where, I'm, where I'm from. In, in Denmark and around there. Beside me is one of the most beautiful synagogues I've seen in my life. Here is the Sabbat Kai Subotica Synagogue. Now we're entering the big Subotica Market Hall. I don't know if it's called that, but here's a market. They really have everything in here. It's funny, half of this Marcus is uh, Serbian and the other half is Hungarian. So you can hear like Hungarian and Serbian being spoken everywhere right now. It's unique. This market is absolutely huge. It just keeps going and going and going. Now we have the flower section. It's amazing. It's like a step back in time. But that's the same in Seged. But this is much bigger, I think. are made of just, you know, layer. We are going to drive home now, um, because the borders will close in, well, we don't really know, they say at four, but let's see. Anyway, um, there was a very nice journey and a pleasant experience last night, playing my first concert ever in Serbia. And I'm sure I will be back. Actually, I will, but another town in Ju July. But um, yeah, right now we're just having some fun and uh, it was great. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And um, stick around for the next episode.